what I really wanted to cover is some of my experience uh, leveraging these tools at uh, first source uh, and in my previous life as well. Again, these tools provide you real-time insights uh, you know, from the workforce engagement, and that's the term that I want to use, the workforce engagement management, WEM, as opposed to workforce management, um, because this requires a strategic approach, right? So how it, what, what difference it makes to our frontline associates versus the managers versus the leadership, right? The associates use this data like a Fitbit. They want to know on a real-time basis how they are performing, uh, what's their work pattern, how they can adjust, you know, what is their intervention required uh, for enhanced productivity, right? Because that's the expectation from leaders like yourselves. Uh, again, for managers, it facilitates improved capacity planning, work allocation, so I know what's the skill set to leverage where, right? So that's the work allocation. For leadership, it's the visibility into the workforce engagement. So the platform itself enables that, and the leadership, rather than looking at multiple reports, which is outdated by the time it reaches their desk, can look at these tools, you know, pretty much, you know, on a real-time basis. Again, that paves the way for a positive and an engaged workforce, which is critical to business success. Like I said, the workforce engagement platforms, right? And, and this really creates that environment which you all, we all desire today, right? In a hybrid scenario, right? How does it foster engagement, collaboration, and innovation, right? Where people are really aware or self-aware of what really is happening, right? Right from the uh, associates to the managers to the leadership. And how I did that, this is just a, a slide, a representative slide. Again, um, you know, we leveraged Prohance as one of the tools. Then we have our client tools as well. And then some of our internal tools that really, you know, went into that uh, crunching engine. And then we leveraged very uh, pointed data vis visualization tools like Power BI, et cetera, to point out, you know, what really are the interventions required. And again, the outcomes are on the right-hand side, the workload balancing, et cetera, that I shared. Uh, you know, skill mapping, reduction in cost of delivery, et cetera. So this is really some of the best practices, how we leveraged analytics, operational analytics, on a real-time basis to drive the outcomes. 